getting started on sewing you're a beginner looking to expand your skills and looking for patterns to use here are 15 free patterns from mood fabrics that i love and are really really beginner friendly so i have a couple of categories i think six tops trousers dresses skirts third layer and you know extras and I will link all the patterns that are mentioned in the description box and also I will have the link to Mood Fabrics website. You can check them out. And let's get started. I want to start with dresses. Well, you may just be hearing the word dresses and thinking, oh my God, those are just too complicated and I can't. But with the instructions on the Mood Fabrics website, a couple of instructions from, you know, YouTube and the will to do it, you definitely can. And the first one, which is my absolute favorite, is the ginger dress. This is like a nice fitting straight dress that has like a balloon or puff sleeves. I'm not quite sure how to call them. Really, really cute. They bring drama to the dress and are a nice statement i use this dress mainly uh, as a basic block to create other designs of dresses i love it so so much it's nice it's simple so you can you can manipulate it to however you want it has like a high neckline that i love so much it hugs your body it gives you curves you know life and I love it so so much. The second one is a really really cute dress and it's the yarrow dress. I love these dresses because you know of the tears, the gathers, the ruffles. It's so so cute. It has like the ruffles at the sleeves. It has a ruffled high neck. It has like tears. You can make it whatever height you want. You can make it the size that you want with any color that you want and i love 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 how these dresses turn out it might be you know a couple of pattern pieces um you know some hard work but let me tell you the reward will be great because you're going to be looking so good in that dress it's actually on my necklace and i'll be doing a video on that real soon so make sure to watch out for that video now to the other category which i want to go to trousers so just as dresses trousers can be a bit complicated but once you get a hold of trousers you'll be wanting to make more and more and more and more and your whole closet will be trousers so the first one and my holy grail my favorite my everything is the nasrin pants now whatever you do if you do not download any other pattern from this video make sure to download the nasrin pants i've had these pants from 2019 these were my first ever pattern to download from the mood fabrics website and i've not regretted anything since then i make it so 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 often actually check out this video right here that i made jeans using the this pattern it's so cute it's like a nice pants pattern that you can use as a basic block you know to make any other pants you can make straight pants you can make culottes you can make bell bottoms flared whatever you want this is like the best pants pattern if you sure like me i'm 4 11 by the way so i cut off a couple of inches at the bottom a couple of inches at the waist and they fit perfectly it's surprising how nice these pants fit it's so cute the second one is the rain jeans the rain jeans you might hear the word jeans and be like oh my god but you know the instructions are really straight to the point it's so so cute it's like a bell bottomed jeans you can make it with any fabric and it will still hug you so tight it will be so cute and yes i'm just encouraging you to change the instructions but you know if this does not work for you this will okay so if you feel like this fabric might be hard you can try it out with a different fabric and the results will still be so 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 cute 
I love these jeans so so much. I'm definitely making them. I love how the bottom pants look on me. The third uh, pants pattern is the leaf pants. Now, compared to the two pants patterns, this is more dressier. It looks more official. It has two straight seams at the front piece and it has pockets. Now, for more fabrics, uh, the instructions might be confusing on the pockets, but once you get them, so cute. So cute. And also, if you love like deeper pockets, you can go ahead and change that, make them way deeper like you want them, and you will get really, really, really cute pants. Okay, let's move to jumpsuits. And for jumpsuits, I only have one pattern, but they have a lot of jumpsuits on the website. Whatever you love will definitely be there. So this is the Venal jumpsuit. I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to be pronounced. But we have the Venom jumpsuit. It's so cute. I made a similar jumpsuit a while back, but it was not with this pattern. It has like ruffles right here. It has like a crisscrossed back, a nice pan. I love it. I love it so, so much. And if you're into cottage core, this will bring the life out of you. It's so, so, so cute. So make sure you check it out. So to the next category, I want to go into skirts and for skirts, I have two patterns. I have the indigo skirt. The indigo skirt is so nice, so simple, actually a beginner's pattern because the pieces are really small, um, okay, are really few and it uses like a light fabric, which means it's going to be easy to make it and you can make it short long whatever length you like mini midi maxi it's still going to be so so cute and the second one is the crest skirt this is a wrap skirt and you know you can never go wrong with a wrap skirt because one you do not have to be so precise with the measurements because at the end of the day you will wrap it and it needs to overlap so yeah um it's nice it has ruffles at the bottom it's so cute it's on my neck list but i just made a wrap skirt the other day and this will have to wait until i see how much i wear that wrap skirt so number three category no number three i lost count i really lost count now let's go to tops for tops i have three patterns but two are from mood, one is not, but I had to include it in this video. The first one is the Avena bodysuit. So this is a bodysuit pattern, but I know most people do not like the bodysuit look. So you can go ahead and make it like a cropped look or you can make it like a normal top. It has like a cutout and one long sleeve. It has like a high neck. It's so, so cute. I love it so, so much. And the only thing here is that it requires a stretch fabric and I know that might be scary but all you need is check out the brain and use a zigzag stitch on your machine and take it slow and you will be fine. Once you make one stretch fabric, it will be your obsession. Trust you me, been there done that. So the second one is the Azara top. So this is like a nice dress shirt that fits so well, but it has a bell sleeve. So cute, so cute. I do not have much words for this because it speaks for itself. It's really, really cute, especially the color, the sleeves, the feet, it's everything. The third top is, um, the corset top from it's so cool this is my everything actually i've made it so many times actually you can go check out my previous video because i used that um pattern to make my perfect corset it's a really cute nice fitting corset that you can adjust however you want add sleeves remove sleeves make it longer make it uh change the neckline so easy so nice and the pattern pieces are less than five so 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 nice so easy and you'll not regret the results and you can make it with any 
fabric. So cute. The next category is that layer and for that layer, I'm, I'm calling it that layer because you can make it into anything. The first one is the velour robe. The velour robe is more like a robe. It has a tie, you know, the shape and the look of a robe, but it doesn't have to be a robe. Let's get creative. Make it into a cardigan. Make it into a cropped jacket. Make it into like a long jacket. And you know, you already have a tie, so it's going to look really, really cute. It has pockets, really, really cute. I want to make this as a robe and as a jacket as well. I'm planning to go get some fuzzy uh, blanket, make it into a robe, and then get like a really, really nice and firm fabric to make it into like a long uh, jacket or cardigan because that's my look. And yeah. Just choose the fabric, the fabric will define what you make out of it. The second one is the hazel coat. Just as the um, velour robe, you can make it with any fabric and that is what will define it. It's like a nice long cardigan look. It has pockets, it has a seam at the back. It's like a nice a rectangular shape, really boxy sleeves, boxy um, pockets, very simple really easy don't get scared to try out like big projects just because it might look um, really really hard trust you me sometimes when it's bigger it's easier yeah so the last category which is extras i've got a suit which is the blackberry suit now this pattern i made it i think last year last year but one and i made it in less than 24 hours yes i will link the video in the description box it's so 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 cute it's a short and a blazer the blazer is peplum but you can take out the peplum just do the coat just like i did or you can do the peplum separate from the coat or if you love that peplum coat look you can do it so for the shorts you can make them any length whatever works for you that is the best thing about sewing your own clothes you manipulate them and stick to your style and the last pattern is the mini tote bag by me of course i had to include this because it was a thank you for getting to 500 subscribers earlier this year and it's a really really nice bag you can make it out of any fabric I made it out of a blanket you can make it strictly out of any fabric provided it holds its shape or you can reinforce it with um, interfacing and it mimics the um, the tote bag from Mac Jacobs it's so 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 cute make sure to check it out and you know any of these patterns and if you want more patterns I have a lot of free patterns uh, from mood from other websites that are really really cute beginner friendly or it doesn't have to be beginner friendly if you want a part two of this video tell me in the comment section and i'll definitely definitely dig and get you really really cute looking patterns and also if you want me to try out any of the patterns mentioned in this video also comment which one in the comment section and i will really really appreciate your engagement also don't forget that all the patterns are linked in the description box by name make sure to check them out and also check the mood fabrics website and give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below and share this video with a friend and i hope to see you in my next video bye